Christian Jagodinsky is a rare breed. He is a dot-com entrepreneur who's actually made millions and kept them. He was so successful he retired when he was just 29. Now based in Miami, Florida, the German computer boffin is planning a new business, luxury villas. Christian's phenomenal success began at his family home in Regensburg when he was just a teenager. It started when I was uh, 14 years old and my father bought a Commodore 64. Initially I did what all the small kids do, play the computer games with it, but then I wanted soon to program my own computer game and uh, that's how I got started. Christian set up his own computer company writing software and within a year the money began to roll in. I think we had a contract there for $10,000 at some point. Uh, but still $10,000 for us was a big number and something that other 16-year-olds can never get their hands on. With money in the bank, Christian made a shrewd move. He expanded his business and launched his own internet site selling books throughout Germany. In the beginning we certainly didn't do it for money because uh, the total subscriber base for the local system was 100,000 people. I mean, that was nothing. And uh, the, the first orders that we had were two book orders a day. I mean, you can't make any money with that. But by 1998, Christian was selling hundreds of thousands of books a week, which attracted the interest of American online book giant Amazon. As we were by far the largest player in Europe, um, it was a very easy uh, approach for them to just go ahead and make us a buyout offer. Uh, in fact, they called us one day and, and said we would like to talk and then in the, in the very first meeting they already said that we would like to buy you guys. <laughs> Amazon paid 30 million euros for Christian's company. His natural born talent had made him a millionaire at 29. He decided to retire, enjoy his newfound wealth and go traveling. I wanted to see what is the top of the line uh, luxury travel that you can do. I chartered large yachts, for instance. I uh, chartered private jets. Uh, I went to the most expensive hotels and resorts. After exploring the world for three years, Christian has settled in Miami's exclusive Palm Island district, where his neighbors include superstars such as Enrique Iglesias and Gloria Estefan. I bought an old house that was originally owned by Al Capone, built in 1924. Uh, I liked the layout of the house very much. It had this, this open courtyard with a balcony around on the second floor. The house cost 2.7 million euros and 15 million more to make it the way he wanted it. People here didn't build houses to the same standard as uh, the standards I was used to from Europe. I mean, in Europe you have buildings that were built in the 16th century and that are still uh, very good to live in. The interior of the house was designed by French master craftsmen at a cost of 1.2 million euros. The walls here for instance are clad in leather uh, and the idea for that came from the casino in Monte Carlo where they have a high rollers room that's sort of off limits but that's designed the same way. The reason why I decided to go with the French interior decorators was because they are not really shoppers like decorators in the US. They are craftsmen and furniture manufacturers that built everything to your personal specification. If you look at the, the inlaid wood here, this pool table was actually built after a 17th century pool table. I think the original price was 35,000. This pool table actually had to be built two times because the first time they did the pockets too small. So we ended up building the same table again with the regulation size pockets and uh, shipped that over and shipped the other one back. After three years enjoying his fortune, Christian became restless. At 32, he wanted more from life. It's boring to retire. Um, I, I could have continued, I could have continued not to do anything or just play golf until I'm 60, 65 years old. Uh, you're looking for intellectual challenge. And it wasn't long before he found it. Christian Jagodinsky was a dot-com multimillionaire who retired when he was 29. 
He spent three years living the high life, having sold his company for 30 million euros. I thought it was a good idea to take some time off now that I was still young. And uh, that's when I, when I just said, I, I want to travel. I actually made a little list of things that I always wanted to do. One of these activities was flying planes, getting a pilot's license, getting a helicopter license. I, I like to learn, and oftentimes learning takes a lot of time as well, and I didn't have the time to do that. Christian's inspiration for his next business came from his experience of traveling. He's setting out to lease some of the world's most luxurious and exclusive villas, but with a twist. What we're doing now is basically run a hotel in private villas, which means that uh, the houses are set up like a hotel before the guest comes in. Uh, the guest has all the services that you typically find a in a hotel, from bellboy to uh, maids to private chefs to uh, spa services. In just a year, his company Velazzo has expanded and now manages 10 luxury villas in Miami, Marbella and Saint-Tropez. I have always been excited with businesses that uh, are new and that are in markets that I see as developing markets. I think the hotel industry has been developing and is continuing to develop into a direction where people want more and more luxury, where they want more and more privacy and where they're willing to pay more and more for having a unique experience that other people don't have. His prestigious properties attract internationally famous film stars and some of the world's wealthiest tycoons. The cost ranges from 25,000 to 75,000 euros a week, which Christian thinks is quite reasonable. Uh, if you take a $25,000 villa uh, that has eight bedrooms, for instance, that only costs you a little over $200 per person that's actually staying there per night. That's not a lot of money. I mean, everybody has that money to spend. It's a matter of getting that concept over. Christian is so convinced by the concept, he has even converted the top floor of his own house into a six-bedroom luxury villa. When I planned this house, I thought it would be a great idea to have a different theme in every bedroom so that the bedrooms have a little bit more attraction than just being another guest bedroom, another guest bedroom. This is the African-themed room. The layout of this room is probably the nicest of the guest bedrooms. This is the Moroccan room, again with fixtures imported from France. You also see the complete Villazzo setup that we put into every bedroom from the little chocolates to the hospitality phones to the hotel white linen. This is the Japanese room. As with the other bedrooms, we have modeled the bathroom after the theme of the main guest room. In the Japanese culture, you're not supposed to take a bath without being clean beforehand. So you actually have to take a shower before you go into your bathtub. And uh, we solved that by integrating the shower outside of the bathtub. And you can actually put your shower up here and take a shower outside. Christian has a natural talent for making money. His success has brought him a 37 million euro fortune. I thought that was a terrific business idea. I like to do things that nobody else does and that's why I started Villazzo. Sometimes it's great to, to be aware of the fact that, that really, if you don't want to work, you don't have to work. And, and it's very good to have that feeling, to say that, uh, if tomorrow I want to stop doing what I'm doing, I can afford to do it. That's the freedom that uh, money buys you, and that freedom is worth something. 